Hey everyone, Will here from Mature Mighty Gamers, and today I'm going to be showing you Tabletop Playground. It is on Steam and Early Access. It is currently $14.99, 10% off that, which brings it down to $13.49. So this is a direct competitor to Tabletop Simulator, um, a, a gaming platform that allows you to play board games on your computer and even online and in today's current environment it is uh, definitely a viable option for being able to get that gaming itch uh, while being able to do it siloed so all right so let's dive right in so first up you have a basic menu system here as you can see the graphics do look pretty good music is and is what it is kind of those anno annoying elevator music type things but let's go ahead and jump right into start game you have a game name you have a password you can set maximum of eight players which is awesome you have different backgrounds you can select so let's go ahead and let's look at and select the shrine we load a game we can start with an empty table or uh, we can return the main menu well let's go ahead and load up a game i have a couple downloaded so far i've got dune struggle for rackets and steampunk rally you also have just some basic classic games over here as well. Cards, checkers, chess, go, and nine men's Morris. So let's go ahead and take a look and we'll load up Steampunk Rally. Go ahead and click start. And what it's going to do is it's going to load up the table for you. And everything's going to be in gray. Go right the, and then bam, the colors are just going to pop. You can see the background that we have. Everything just looks absolutely gorgeous. The game spread. Everything is set up for you. You've got the rule book over here. So the key to be able to zoom in on things is going to be holding alt when you're mousing over. Then you can also spin your mouse wheel and it will bring up the whatever you're zooming in on. Now, then what you could do is if you right click previous state, it'll actually bring up previous pages so you can actually go through and read if they have like manuals, that was the trick there is just the previous and next date. Um, if there is a hotkey, that would be awesome to be able to just flip to the next one. I would definitely want that to be in, uh, implemented. I don't know if it's the scan quality that they have for these cards. It doesn't really look the best, to be honest with you. It doesn't really look like a digital version. It looks more like somebody's flatbed scanner, this particular version or whatever. But all in all, it seems pretty well. So what can you do in this? Well, you have different object library you can load. So you can load up different chests, different meeples, pogs, tokens, game boards, dice, chess pieces, cards. And you can load up any of the components from Steampunk Rally as well, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, and, and thing is including the rules. So let's say I like a wanted to roll, load up a rule book. I can click it. It's going to bring it into my environment. I can then left click again, and it's going to drop an iteration every time I click. Now, obviously, you don't need this many rule books, but just kind of give you an example of how it works. So then you have your F button which is going to flip objects, pick things up, drag them around. Let's load up an object. Let's load up a dice. Let's see how things roll with the dice. Let's load up a D12 here. Drop it on my table. You can right click on things and you can click roll and it rolls it pretty well. Another thing you can do is you could also chuck the dice. No roll as well. You can throw cards You can throw things on the table. toss things out now as far as like flipping the table and things like that i haven't really seen any any way to do that i mean that was one of the things that i hated in in tabletop simulators that option i, I mean i understand it's just kind of more chaos and funny i guess but man it is annoying when if that button actually gets hit or someone's just being a jerk just ruins everything um the the quality of the visuals that looks really awesome everything is kind of you notice it's elevated doesn't actually look like it's sitting on the on the board you know it's kind of like it looks like that from that glass um i wonder if there's a way to get a different table state maybe if you load up let's go back out to the main menu here let's see if we load up just a generic table so we load a game
Start with an empty table. There we go. Let's load up. Uh, let's load up this dark wood. Okay. So you have a dark wood table. Pretty decent. We could then load up all our objects that we have loaded in our library. So something that I I loaded before was a stored object. I stored a book from Steampunk Rally, but notice I can't click it. There we go. So you can bring in everything into the game and set it up yourself. So if you want a different table state, I wonder if they just didn't implement it where you can just put in your own table or change the table that whoever loaded the game. Like I said, that scan is just horrible. But I mean, this is somebody somebody added this. So let's say you know you're not a fan of Steampunk, uh, Steampunk Rally. Let's take a look at some of the other content they have. You just click on Browse Games. So what you're going to do is you're going to link your Steam account to this, this mod.io. Once you have that linked up, you have different things you can search by. So let's say we want a board game. We want it to be a card game. So you have different things you can look at here. So let's say I wanted Dominion so I can, I can subscribe to Dominion. And then when I go back to the game of Tabletop Playgrounds, it's going to start downloading the content. And then when you go into Start Game, Load a Game, noticing it's not on there. So when, what you have to do is you have to exit out and load back in. That can be annoying sometimes, especially when you're just wanting to load up a game. It's not as smooth as like Tabletopia is or Tabletop Simulator where you can just like load up that package and it just works. Um, it's, I don't know, in a way, I think it's a little more streamlined than table, uh, Tabletop Simulator, but not as not as streamlined as, as Tabletopia. So, all right, so uh, some pretty good potential here. I, I think this could be, could be something that brings a little bit of competition to Tabletopia and Tabletop Simulator, maybe help up their game to bringing better uh, content, better resources, uh, better tool management to be able to... Uh, to a make your own game and everything. So as far as like, let's take a look here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Create a new package. Let's call this uh, MMG. Okay. Create a new object. We want a table. I have no idea what I'm doing here. You gotta browse the resources. Hmm. Okay. Well, you definitely have some tools to be able to to be able to customize your own games, add your games to this thing. Hey, you know what? Way above my pay grade. So, you know, if you like what you see here, please hit that like and subscribe button. This was Tabletop Playground from Mature Minded Gamer Review. So, uh, we will catch you guys all later.